The next arch that I'm going to lay out is going to be a segment arch. With a segment arch, no matter what width opening I have, I will be able to keep the same height and the same spring line, which is important, as I just uh, outlined here with this uh, radius arch. So this particular archway here, I'm going to cut out, or I'm going to mark out as a segment arch. Now a segment is just a portion of a large circle. So it actually is a radius arch, but it's just a segment of that large circle. In other words, it would just be the upper section of this particular uh, full circle here. That's what we're going to have here. So we got to determine a few things just like we did here. Our height is going to be the same. And I'm going to measure down two inches just like I did on the other one just to, to uh, make sure our heights are actually all the same. Now the next thing I need to determine is where my spring line is going to be. So I need to determine the height of my rise. Um, with the full circle arch, that rise was predetermined as the radius of the opening. But here we get to determine it ourselves. So what I've chosen is seven inches. So I'm going to mark out seven inches. So my rise from the top of the arch is seven inches. Now I need to actually determine what the archway, what the radius of this um, segment of a circle is going to be. And in order to do that, there's a couple different ways. We have a uh, construction master calculator that will calculate it out for me. The, uh, the run is 36 inch. The rise is 7 inches, and I can figure that, and it will tell me the radius of this arch that I need, which is 26 and 3 quarter inches. So 26 and 3 quarter inches is the radius of this segment I need. For, of the uh, circle that I need that I'm going to just use a segment of for my arch. So like the other one, it was 18. This one is going to be 26 and 3 quarters. So down from the top of this archway, I have to measure down 26 and 3 quarter inches. So once again, I've pre-bent a piece of wire that I'm going to use for this arch. So you can see this is, my spring line is now seven inches below the height of the arch. So this spring line can be the same no matter what width opening this because I've just calculated out a different radius for, for the different width openings. You can see if I level this across, it's right on my, my, my uh, spring lines are even right across. I like this arch because it gives me a little more room to walk through as well. The height isn't actually narrowed up nearly as much. And I also, what I also like about it is there is a definite point of transition from the curved part to the vertical straight lines. So this, this makes it a nice obvious transition that really catches your eye when you, when you walk in a room. And this is probably my favorite arch to build because I love that type of a transition. There is another arch that you can build that will still have the same height and the same spring line, no matter what with opening it has, and that's called an ellipse. So on this next segment here, I'm going to draw an actual elliptical arch.